guys, Rexasaur here, and welcome to World of Tanks. So, since last week several things have happened, and I will be doing a World of Tanks live with you today, uh, playing both, well, three tanks, hopefully, the Nash one, the T-69, and a surprise tank, which I think is the most overpowered tank in its tier. Uh, and you will see why when we come to it. So first the Nash one. Now the Nash one has a lot of issues, I think, considering the, the gun selection. Uh, because it has the the exact same caliber of gun as the flak bus, but it doesn't have the same kind of gun because the flak bus has special flak issues, which means you have to start an Ashron with a very crappy L70, which is the thing you have on the Stug, um, which is nice at tier five, but pretty shoddy at tier six. That said, it is the chosen weapon of choice for the Jagd Panzer IV, or the Flat Panzer, as uh, us in our little group of friends like to call it. Um, so I'm going to have to use the L56 at some point, and then the L71, which is the same gun on the Tiger II. Now, to get this gun, I have decided to free XP it with the XP I have received from the Jagdpanzer IV, uh, because I do have 8,000 experience stocked up, I just need to wait until that reaches like 1,000 or so, uh, and then I'll be able to get the L56 from there without having to spend experience from the Nash one to get it. Which is nice. Um, as you can see, my crew is pretty shoddy. I retrained it from my Flak Panzer crew, as well as one from my. Uh, I think that used to be my Hummel crew member. I cannot remember. Um, but yeah, so I shall see you in. Okay, battle. guys. So here we are. Um, this is not the best matchup. Uh, it's okay. It could be better. Could be much better. I have equipped binoculars. Um, camo cloak and a gun Some lane, some epic gun lane, tank right? action today. A medium caliber gun rammer, uh, so that I can shoot faster. And my reload is only 3.2 seconds, which is fan bloody tastic. Um, I have to get in this sort of hidden position. I don't really know where to go in a TD in this map um, because I don't know TDs are very. I don't know. This map is not very TD orientated. And I never ever play TD on this map, and when I do, it's. Well, most of the TDs I have are assault tank destroyers, which means that they're frontline tank destroyers or second line. This is a very much a sniper tank destroyer, which means it's rear line. You don't want to ever see the. Like, the enemy is not even allowed oh, to see you. Oh, fuck, that was dumb. Sorry! Um. Right. Randomly reverse into an A twenty five, which has the same gun as me. True story. Right, I have no idea how to successfully position myself because they're going to come from over there. We have no one over there. Now that said, there's not a lot of people over there. We're just going to try and camp this corner for now. Make sure the M five Stewart doesn't go forward into that line but it is. There's a the hellcat there. Yeah okay so we have to turn around and focus fire on this little bad boy. Om nom nom That's gonna throw oh, a cat amongst the I pigeons. Doing awesome. Ninja the killing mode. And <laughs> killed him before he got to dirt me. Because this tank has no armor which means that HE goes right through one side and out the other and causes a lot of issues. Um, most noticeable issues are getting one-shotted by KV-2s, which has to be the worst thing ever. It's happened. That's not happened to me, but it's I've and done that's it to. Not too Nash shabby at all. He was not very happy. It's a tough little tank. Fantastically good fun. <laughs> and look. Do you have a much faster reload than the Hellcat? Yeah, that's right, bitches. And he's on fire, oh, so. and he's on fire. <laughs> Boom! Wow, that Hellcat was a noob. We are on half-ish health. Uh, could be better. Could be on more health, that'd be nice. This tank is stock. The only things I... Well, actually, I've upgraded the engine, so it's not that stock. Um, but it is very maneuverable. It does not have the top tracks yet. Well, it's not that It is bad. incredibly maneuverable. How have I not seen this guy? How am I bound to not see this guy? This guy must be like hidden so much. 
That was quite surprising. Oh, there is. Oh, no. Ow. Yeah, I need to be careful. Though. I'm in one shot range for everything. There's an M4 up there. It's okay, though. I don't think you can actually get me. Right, so, now that the KV-1 is out of action, I can focus on this IS. Hopefully. I have to be very careful. That M4, if that M4 has any gun, actually, if that M4 hits me, I'm dead. It's not a question of is it if he has a dirt gun or not, because I'm dead if he hits me. And I cannot kill him in one shot. But he's not looking at me, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get two shots into him before he notices. Come on, get the kill, get the kill. No, nope, I'm dead. I'm dead, guys. The team is a disaster. Well, that was a pretty good game. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, considering I had a really iffy gun, I guess it, it fires so fast it doesn't really matter. On the Flak Panzer IV, it really fires at like 5 second reload. This is only a 3 second reload, so it's pretty good. Let's return to Garage and show you my T69. Ooh. So, um, yeah, like the Nash horn. And it is... A lot of people, I want to say a lot of people, crap hunter keep saying it's Naz Horn, but it's Nash Horn because because I said so, and so does Jingles. Thus, it must be. Um, so there's the missions you're telling me. We got weekly missions, which are kill 50 Soviets, kill 50, oh, get Confederate and kill two people, and be the top damage, top three damage leaders. Anyway, T69. T69 is a medium auto loader and um, I use it mostly for 7v7s that is the m I got this in one day I managed to get to 175% uh, crew with a 75% crew so I literally got 100% in one day from 7v7ing I fully upgraded this I'm only going for this now uh, fully upgraded in one day because 7v7s are amazing, this tank is amazing in a tier 8 matchup. However, this gets matchmaking up to tier 10, which makes this tank very, very difficult to play. But um, we're going to try, so I shall see you. Luckily for us, however, this is not a tier 10 game, this is a tier 8, which is good. Uh, it's quite a lot of tier 8s, so it's going to be pretty difficult. I'm not very confident with this not tank. Not my favourite map in the game. In, in 15 fact, mid 15s, I, I am probably very confident my in least favourite map in the game. Uh, with 7v7s with the DGA, I am the um, commander, so I tell people where to go and stuff and lead them to victory, I guess. So I know where everyone is and I decide where everyone should go. Um, I, I only think it is very possible with 7v7s. I, I don't think I'll be a very good commander in, say, tank companies or clan battles. Um, but 7v7s, I feel I'm very confident in fighting and commanding. And uh, I have developed quite a few tactics. Sadly, we have lost one of our main things because we, we always go in an ISU 152, which with a BL10, um, and that is sort of our 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 strategy is based around that uh, that the tank getting shots off. And um, however, we do not have it anymore because one of the ex platoon member, the members of DGA, had a fight with the ISU player, and uh, they both quit, which sucks a lot. That was a poor shot. Forget it. Just forget it. Now there is Happy a days. massive <laughs> problem with this tank. It's just absurd. And it's that. Look at the penetration. Penetration of 122 is 175. Penetration of this, 173. So it barely ever penetrates. You need to get onto the side of tanks and it just gets really irritating. And it has a 20 second reload, I think. Or it might be 25. I think it's 25 second reload. Oh, what a new. And it's a serious problem. Wow, I screwed myself over there. Just gonna repairs. I've Here got go. really high repairs, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There's an IS over there. We're going to ignore him for now. We're gonna try and rear the KV3. Hopefully, with success. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna be successful. So much 
much fun. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, that was alright. And that's why this tank is so awesome. Gears up on the side, you do over, well, not a, a, not over, about a thousand damage per clip. It only does uh, 240, so it does um, uh, 960 damage, I think, average per clip. So I'm going to take out that KV-3 in our reload. Nope, no we're not. We're going to be disallowed the honour. However, the ICU just fired and we have no shots on him. But we are going to go around to try and do so. We can one clip the ICU, that is what we are planning to do. However, there is a T-34 there which is irritating. And an IS-3, okay. Could attempt to just hit these guys. Thanks. Ah, oh, it went high. Good stuff. This thing kicks ass. They don't like it open. Right, so now we have to reload. We have to make sure with the ISU doesn't get us, which should be easy enough. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, okay. He knows we're there. Yeah, he definitely knows we're there. I'm making sure that we don't get him, but... He's gonna get shot the other way. Just fantastically good. Finishes Boom. him off, takes the kill. So, we are losing pretty badly as well. But we managed to take out the ICU, we're going to try and take out this TC. We might not have very much chance of doing so. It is awesome. No, we're not. Oh no, you don't. Side. We're going to retreat and reload. We should be able to clip the IS-3, should we be allowed to. If I'm allowed to reload in that time. And we should be able to kill the T-34 very, very easily. He's not going to expect us coming from this side. Or he might do, but whatever. Oh, yes, baby. Shit. Underwhelming. I, oh, yeah, you can't pen the side That's of a bloody ice. Horrible. It's irritating. Bounce after bounce after bounce. <laughs> I don't understand how that's even possible. How you can't pen the side of an IS-3, I will never know. Right, here comes some full health tanks, which is irritating, because I cannot deal with full health. And I'm now the only, well I'm not the only one alive, but I'm the only one who can actually do anything. Because everyone else on my team is pure rubbish. Alright, we're going to try and get the C20 prototype. Oh bollocks, the T69 see me. And clip me. I don't even need to be clipped by the T69 anymore, the SC101 found me. Oh, bollocks, fuck off. Fail! Shit. <laughs> well, I am very happy with that. We almost did 3000 damage, which is a lot in a medium. Uh, we lost the game though. But I blame it on my team, and I'm rightly allowed to do it because I did 3,000 damage in a medium, which is not something you see every day. Um, in fact, I did so well I actually counted as winning um, because I got a medal. And as you can see by that, I came third on their team, which is lovely. We also got a reward for mission complete, which is the one for the weekly mission two, three, for doing the most damage. So yeah, that was fun. Just got a message on that. Nah, 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 mate. Nah, mate. Um, so yeah, so the tank I'm going to show you is this one. And everyone's going, what? How is, uh, what? How is, what? How, what? How is that overpowered? Well, guys, I shall tell you why. Tier 5 mediums uh, get a gun which does 110 penetration and 110 damage about. We are going to check this out. In Germany, Panzer IV 
gets this gun here. 110 pen, 110 damage. This is a medium. The American medium, the M4 Sherman. Where are you? That's America. M4 Sherman, which I do not have. Gets a top gun, which does 128 pen, 110. Uh, this gun here is 92 pen, 110 damage. So about that range. T34 and the T34, uh, Type T34, 125, 115, or 112, 185. This is the around about, you know, tier 5 medium gun. This is tier 3 tank destroyer. 110 pen, 75 damage. Now a lot of people right now are going, that sounds like absolute crap. Is it though? Because look at the rate of fire. That is 21 shots per minute. That is a 3 second reload. And that's not right. If I had a gun rammer, which you can't have on this, you can't have a gun rammer, sadly, but when my crew gets to 100%, I will have a 2 second reload on this gun. That's right. 2 second, 110 pen at tier 3. That means if I come against tier 5s, which is a maximum, this gun is a tier 5 medium top gun. So I will have no problem penning anything. And uh, I'll be firing that every two seconds. So yeah, overpowered much? Yep. I shall see you in battle. Does it actually, no, I won't see you in battle yet. I will put some camo net and binox on it because it's necessary. So here we are, a tier we... 3 game. Very, very much tier 3 with this gun on province. Now there is some issue with this gun. I will, not the gun, but the tank itself. Being small, it is a small target, however it has barely Top any armor. Some epic tank any HE today. will one-shot you. Look how small it is. Look how small it is. It's not incredibly maneuverable or incredibly fast. It has barely any traverse and it has moderately good elevation, but sh no, no depression. That's right, its depression is zero degrees. It has no depression. In addition to this, um, it absolutely despises Panzer 1Cs because Panzer 1Cs can just absolutely destroy it. Great news! Great news! Well, that guy died. <laughs> Is that BT7 over there? Can I can see him? But yeah, so we've already taken 72 damage on the enemy. Poor little Panzer 1C didn't really know what was going on. So let's use our binox to see if we can see any of the one. Oh. There's a poor little SU-18 over there. Which you can one-shot. Like an absolute boss. And a Panzer 3A up there. Which we miss. And we're not going to get. Let's see. Oh, we might be able to. Just look at the damage I've put on this gun. Yep, he's dead. Okay, so we are, we are doing all this spotting. Right now, because the view range of this is actually Come really on, high. Plus the binox, which no one takes at this range, means that we're the, we're the ones who are spotting everyone. We'll go for the smarter two. Aiming time pretty shoddy. Uh, accuracy not incredible, but it's a good gun. So we're winning excessively. There's quite a bit of lag because of the amount of flak going on. Uh, there's flak cannons everywhere, so yeah. Right. There's a T eighty two now. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Didn't get that kill because someone else did. Obviously. That was kind of an obvious point there, actually. I don't know why I actually said that. We didn't get that kill because someone else did. Oh really? Oh, what did I have noticed? Uh over there. Oh, we don't have the depression for it. This is why this gun is annoying sometimes. Oh, that was a poor shot. I, he's probably moved, but, you know. Some people are stupid. So, yeah. Although it's not that good at long range, the... Um, the whole, what's it called? Absolutely is okay. amazing. This T70 just like goes, oh no, I'm being shot at. God damn it. Oh, 
Oh no, there is. Oh, I moved. Poor shots there, poor shots. You will kill him. Right, we didn't kill him, but someone else did. Poor shot again. <laughs> That's a one sees just going. Can't actually see this Marder 2, but we're going to try anyway. And we fit. And we didn't steal the kill. There's a Cruiser 4 out there, last seen. And as you can see, this tank is amazing. I've done 100, 521 damage ish. I, I think I might have done more because of um, what's it called? blind shotting and stuff. And I will do more because of this shot. No, I won't. I completely fluffed that one. Quite promising. Panzer 1 sees king of tier 3, but this tank king of <laughs> everything else. But I want Panzer 1C in a tier 5 game. It's going to do averagely shit. But this get tank in a tier 1 game is going to do really well. Really, really well. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we've got ourselves a confederate and a bunch of stuff. We did so much more damage than the rest of our team. And uh, not as much as that Panzer once he got five kills because he was out there getting all the kills ready. But yeah, this tank does amazing. To be fair, what the hell did these guys get? Cool headed and cool headed. Oh, they both got cool headed. That's a bit weird. So yeah, this tank you should all get it because it's amazing, and I will be keeping this for a very very long time just because of the amount of fun you have in the tank. Um. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this World of Tanks live. Um, we had three pretty good games actually. Um, surprised they, they were so good. We lost all of them. Oh no, we didn't lose that one and we didn't lose the Nash one. So we didn't lose all of them. We only lost the T69 but we did a lot of damage. And uh, really showed the capability of the tank in certain situations as well as the limitations of the tank such as this one being the depression, this one not be the penetration not being able to get the side of the IS-3 and the Nash Horn with its very weak armour. Um, but we did pretty good, so thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and as usual, play with honour, and I'll see you next time.